so hello guys what's up and welcome back to my youtube channel it's me your girl barrister neze and this is nezeville ever since news of the unfortunate and untimely passing of mother of five bimbo obuna made it out to the internet several reactions have trailed that incident in today's video i'll be bringing us up to speed with all the recent and authentic updates and happenings surrounding this case. I would also be revealing several critical and shocking information that has made it out to public knowledge since this news broke out. So without further ado, let's dive right into this video. The first update is that Bimbo's family has released an official press statement addressing the demise of their daughter. And in that statement, they categorically exonerated themselves. I think the family deemed it very important to exonerate themselves because they have come under plenty of fire for purportedly sitting back and folding their arms while their daughter was in a suicidal marriage. I may not read the whole statement to all of us, but in this particular line, they said, Several times during the course of their marriage, we intervened in a bid to rescue her from a terrible situation that ultimately has now taken her life. Abimbola was a loving individual and a committed wife and mother who put the desire that her children were raised by two parents before her own peace of mind happiness and well-being now according to this press statement as well as several accounts from members of bimbo's family it is clear that bimbo's family did their utmost to rescue her but she was hell-bent on trying to make it work and remaining with her husband if you watched my previous video on this case which i will have the link right in the description box I narrated the account of the sister when the romance between Bimbo and Ivy did begun when Bimbo was just a teenager and how her family sent her to rehab, relocated her from Lagos to Abuja, even took her in with pregnancy just to ensure that she doesn't get back with Ivy D. And all that effort went down the drain. So the question is, especially for people, because I have come across several comments of people saying, oh, her family didn't, if, I, if it were I, I would have done this, I would have done that. Her family didn't do right. How can her family allow this to happen? And I'm like, you could have done what? You could have done what exactly? You could have kidnapped her and kept her in a leash and chains for the rest of her life? Listen, when it comes to cases like this, there is only so much that you can do. You cannot, absolutely cannot keep an adult who is not willing to be kept. You see, when it comes to helping victims of domestic violence, the first step of help is the victim's resolve to want to help herself. That is the first step. The second step is for the victim to be willing to accept help. If the victim has not resolved to help herself and is not willing to accept the help from others, there is absolutely nothing you can do to salvage that person from that situation. Even if that individual comes from a family of military personnel, they will still not be able to keep her from going back. As a barrister and with my affiliations with FIDA, FIDA is the International Federation of Women Lawyers in Nigeria. I am very privy to come across many of these sort of cases. And you see this issue with domestic violence, it cuts across all classes of people, wealthy people, impoverished people, every class of woman in the society in Nigeria experiences very severe degrees of domestic violence. You do not even know the half of it. Now, in many cases, these victims come running to us, running to FIDA, totally battered and bruised, near to death, beaten beyond recognition. And FIDA, whose major objective focuses on sexual abuses amongst women and domestic violence, is always quick to swing into action. But I'll tell you what, 95% of the times with these cases, these women always go back. Sometimes the matter is in court, we're making progress to severe the union. 
and keep her safe. And before you can say Jack, this woman has stopped picking the lawyer's calls. She has stopped coming to court. And the next thing you see her and this abuser on social media prophesying love to one another. So when people approach me and say, Neza, what can you do? Can you help? Look at my friend, look at my colleague, look at my patient, as my doctor told me the other time. I always say these women are not willing to leave. They do not want help. That initial burst of adrenaline is just as a result of the effect that the incident just happened. Give them time and 95% of women would always go back to their abusers regardless of what the family, the lawyer, or the society does. Except it's a structured society where these perpetrators are jailed and taken away forcefully out of society. But in a lawless country like Nigeria and some other African countries where domestic violence is seen as a personal issue, as a family matter, these women always go back to their abusers. So I would like to throw it to you guys. I want you to let me know what you think. Do you think that Bimbo's family in this case did all they could to help her, but she was unwilling to accept help or even help herself? Or do you think that the family didn't do enough and they could have gone an extra mile to ensure that that marriage and relationship that Bimbo had with IVD was severed, whether she liked it or not? Let me get your feedback, thoughts, and comments in the comment section. The second update is contrary to public opinion and the statement released by Bimbo's family that IVD is currently on the run. The spokesperson of the Lagos State Police Command, SP Benjamin Hundeyen, has released a press statement claiming that IVD has been arrested and is now in police custody. Let us hear what the good old cop has to say. Contrary to claims by family and friends, that 37-year-old Ike Chuku Ogbonna, aka IVD, is on the run. He has been arrested and transferred to the State Criminal Investigation Department, SCID, State CID, in Yaba, Lagos State. Now, this came as a good news, especially for people who believe that IVD has some questions to answer as to his wife's death. But let me warn us, don't get too excited yet. Yes, there has been an arrest, but this is just an arrest. There has been no charges preferred yet. He has not been charged to court for any offense. And an arrest could just be for questioning, investigations, or interrogations. It is not tantamount to an indictment. Neither is it an indication of guilt. So if the police eventually does not find any evidence tying him to any crime, or a probable cause to instigate a prosecution, he will be released. Trust me, he will be a free man, set free, and maybe even apologized to. So yes, I would like to inform you that an official arrest has been made and we are waiting, fervently waiting for the police's next line of action. Will Ike Chuku IVD Ubuna be charged to court for the death of his wife? Or will he be released? We'll keep our fingers crossed on that one. The third update I have to bring to you guys is that IVD's page, his Instagram account, we used to have several posts and more than 2,000 followings. He was following more than 2,000 people. Has now changed status. First, he has unfollowed every single person. Secondly, he has put his page on private. And thirdly, and most critically, he has changed his profile picture to that of his late wife and their children. Well, to him, this might seem like damage control or remorse, but to a lot of people, it's even further infuriated them. They believe that how can a man who maltreated his wife so badly in her lifetime, bore children with other women and literally drove her to the brink of insanity, disrespected her family, her mother, and is alleged to have a hand in her passing. How can such a man then turn around and come online to post her when she has passed? They call it the height of pretense 
and hypocrisy. But for some other people, their opinion is totally different. They believe that the man has a right to mourn his wife the way he deems fit. They remind us that after all, the marriage was toxic on the both sides. And without separation, what happened was bound to happen to either one or both of them in the nearest future. It was just unfortunate that it had to be bimbo. They claim that the scales must have fallen off his eyes and he must be regretting everything now. The frequent fightings, the arguments, the violence, the infidelity, the drugs. I mean, this woman was with him. She had his back for the most part of his life. She was part of his success. She was instrumental to his growth. She was the mother of his five children. They've been through thick and thin together and he must be wallowing in pain and regrets right now. Well, do you think that IVD's action was the best? Changing his Instagram display profile to his late wife's picture after their messy history that is ravaging social media right now? Do you think he deeply feels remorse? Or do you think that this is mere pretense? Let us know in the comment section. Lastly, and to wrap up this video, more videos and pictorial evidences of the toxic and violent marriage that existed between these two have continued to resurface on the internet every day. One may even wonder if they spent the whole of the marriage recording themselves and piling up evidences. Fire. On fire everywhere. In my house. <laughs> In my house, this is fire. Inside. In my house. In my house. In my house, in my own house, she locked me outside and could not access to my house. And what she did next was to, what she did next was to lock me outside and keep the kids. All right, no problem. I think I'm just going to leave the house for her now. I'll leave the house for her now. And I will go my way. First, there are videos allegedly suggesting that Bimbo also may have been involved in drug use. Secondly, there are videos showing that sometimes the house gets so heated up, so inconducive, so inhabitable for IVD that he has to walk out of his house barefooted with pillows and spend the night in his car. You would not take those injections after lying against a poor widow. You would not. You would not inject yourself after lying against a poor widow. You would not. You would not. And I would not be a party to your life, IVD. Enough is enough. Thirdly, there are videos which many people claim is a ritual process, showing Bimbo carrying out unusual practices as a form of sacrifice for her husband's success. Practices such as a grown, enlightened, well-to-do woman walking barefoot at the market square. And of course, there are video evidences showing that Bimbo had left or at least was attempting to leave IVD and he would emotionally blackmail her to come back, saying that he will die if she ever left him. I don't tire. I never sleep, go sleep, see my eyes, forgive me. Just forgive me, I'm very well on tire. See my eyes, I never sleep. I beg, no verse, I don't beg, you know, forgive me, I beg. I was acting in face of alcohol, please. I know I've caused you so much pain. I just gonna beg, I beg. I beg, no take the kids away from me. I know see for one day, you never wish me bad, you never wish me dead. I know see if you see me dead, you know go happy. I beg, 
everything I'm sc everything I'm scattered. My whole life is shattered. It's only you I have. If I lose you, enemies will get me. I will die. And I don't want to die. I beg you, just forgive me. I beg. While I was taxi and typing, I don't even know what I was typing. That thing I took, all the things I took, it got me high. I don't even know what I was doing. No verse for me, I beg my wife. No verse for me, I beg. Please, sleep, they catch me. I don't know if I won't sleep. Eh? My phone don't disable. I don't get any money. The money will give me now for this thing. I don't need I don't even drink beer. The money don't almost finish. Yeah, I beg, forgive me. I beg, why are you? Please, there is nothing outside. Please, I beg you. Please, I want to stay with the kids. I want to be with all of you. Please forgive me. Well, eventually he didn't. She did. This marriage was one hell of a whirlwind. And a tragedy was imminent a long time ago. Well, let me get all your thoughts, reaction, and feedback right in the comment section. In our next video, I will be reviewing and analyzing the last of Bimbo's life and the direct incident that led to her unfortunate passing. But this time, I will be speaking legally. I will be legally speaking on the most argued bone of contention on this tragic incident, which is, did IVD have a hand in Bimbo's demise or was it entirely her making. In other words, was it murder or suicide? Stay glued for that video as we continue to learn and take life lessons from this tragic and unfortunate incident while praying that Bimbo's soul finds eternal rest. Thank you so much guys for watching. It's me again, your girl Barista Neze and this is Nezeville. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, drop your comments and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.